Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 most wealthy countries in the world 2024. When you think of the wealthiest countries in the world, you are probably taking the GDP per capita by country into account. In this video, we list the top 10 richest countries in the world based on GDP per capita, as estimated by International Monetary Fund IMF. However, if you are watching out for the GDP per capita of China or the GDP per capita US, this list may surprise you since the countries to emerge on top are also some of the smallest countries on the map. GDP, or the gross domestic product, is a parameter for the value of all goods and services produced in a country. Now, once you divide this number by the number of full-time residents in a country, you get an idea of how rich or poor a country's general populace is. However, what gives a much more precise idea of the wealth held by a nation is when you also take into account the inflation rates and costs of local products and services. Considering both factors, we get a figure called the PPP or the Purchasing Power Parity. While this may still not be absolute statistics to accurately rank the richest and poorest countries in the world, for instance, some of the wealthiest countries can be tax havens, which artificially increases their GDPs with wealth generated outside of these countries, the GDP per capita ranking 2024, accounting for PPP, still gets us close to understanding the wealth held by various nations. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 most wealthy countries in the world 2024. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 most wealthy countries in the world. Number 10. United States. GDP, $26.95 trillion. GDP PPP per capita, $80,412. Population, 332 million. Did we say that the wealthiest countries are also the smallest? That is not the case, of course, with the United States which first entered the top 10 list in 2020 after hovering just beyond 10th place for the better part of the past two decades. America's entry and continuing presence in the top 10 is partially attributable to falling energy prices, as well as pandemic-driven state spending and other economic stimulus measures. Falling energy prices pushed petroleum-based economies like Qatar, Norway and the United Arab Emirates down several rankings while Brunei fell out of the top 10 entirely. Meanwhile, the surge in government spending on social programs boosted aggregate demand significantly. As a result, the U.S. had its shortest recession on record in early 2020, lasting only two months. The American job market too has recovered since the start of the pandemic, although record high inflation has often eaten into workers' wages. Number 9. Norway. GDP, $546.77 billion. GDP PPP per capita, $82,655. Population, 5.41 million. Since the discovery of large offshore reserves in the late 1960s, Norway's economic engine has been fueled by oil. As Western Europe's top petroleum producer, the country has benefited for decades from rising prices. Until it didn't, prices crashed at the beginning of 2020, then the global pandemic ensued, and the krone was sent into freefall. In the second quarter of that year, Norwegian GDP fell by 6.3%, the biggest decline in half a century and possibly since World War II. Does that mean Norwegians became significantly less wealthy than they were before the pandemic? Certainly not. After the initial shock, the economy gradually paired the losses and rebounded. Further, when it comes to any unforeseen economic problem, Norwegians can always count on their $1.3 trillion sovereign wealth fund, the world's largest. Not only that, unlike many other rich nations, Norway's high per capita GDP figures are a reasonably accurate reflection of the average person's economic well-being. The country boasts one of the smallest income inequality gaps in the world. Number 8. San Marino. GDP, $1.86 billion. GDP PPP per capita, $84,135. Population, 33,900. Tiny San Marino is the oldest republic in Europe and the fifth smallest country on the map. It may have only 34,000 citizens, but it is among the wealthiest citizenry in the world. It helps that income tax rates are very low, at about one-third of the EU average. Nonetheless, San Marino is working towards harmonizing its fiscal laws and regulations with those of the European Union, EU, and international standards. 
The tiny nation showed remarkable resilience during the pandemic and after amid tight monetary conditions and the energy crisis, with its tourism industry and manufacturing sector turning especially strong performances. Number 7. UAE. GDP, $359 billion. GDP PPP per capita, $88,962. Population, 9.99 million. Agriculture, fishing and trading pearls, these used to be the economic mainstays of this Persian Gulf nation. Then oil was discovered in the 1950s and everything changed. Today, the United Arab Emirates, UAE, highly cosmopolitan population enjoys considerable wealth. Traditional Islamic architecture mixes with glitzy shopping centers and workers come from all over the world lured by tax-free salaries and year-round sunshine, only about 20% of the people living in the country are actually locally born. The UAE's economy is also becoming increasingly diversified. Outside of the traditionally dominant hydrocarbon sector, tourism, construction, trade and finance are major industries. This is not to say that the UAE was not impacted by the pandemic and the concomitant fall of oil prices, quite the contrary. Incredible as it may seem, the UAE briefly slipped out of the IMF's ranking of the richest countries globally for the first time in decades. Yet fossil fuels have not gone out of fashion, as soon as energy prices recovered, the UAE quickly regained its historic position among the top 10 richest countries in the world. Number 6. Switzerland. GDP, $813 billion. GDP PPP per capita, $89,537. Population, 8.70 million. White chocolate, the bobsleigh, the Swiss army knife, the computer mouse, the immersion blender, Velcro, and LSD are just some of the noteworthy inventions brought to the world by Switzerland. This country of about 8.8 .8 million people owes much of its wealth to banking and insurance services, to tourism, and to the export of pharmaceuticals products, gems, precious metals, precision instruments, think watches, and machinery, medical apparatuses and computers. According to the 2023 Global Wealth Report by Credit Suisse, Switzerland once again came out on top when it comes to the mean average wealth per adult at a whopping $685,230. Furthermore, roughly one adult in six owns assets worth more than US$1 million. Is it really a surprise that Switzerland has the highest density of millionaires in the world? But does that mean the Swiss don't have any economic worries at all? Not only the pandemic had a significant impact on the economy, but due to the country's heavy reliance on imports of oil and gas from Russia, the war in Ukraine led to a surge in energy prices and triggered supply chain disruptions. Further, in 2022 Credit Suisse nearly imploded before a government-engineered rescue by its longtime rival, UBS Group, pulled it back from the edge. The demise of Credit Suisse has shaken the country, damaging Switzerland's reputation as a secure and reliable global banking center. Number 5. Macau SAR. GDP, $22 billion. GDP PPP per capita, $98,157. Population, 695,168. Just a few years ago, many were betting that the Las Vegas of Asia was on its way to becoming the richest nation in the world. Formerly a colony of the Portuguese Empire, the gaming industry was liberalized in 2001 this special administrative region of the People's Republic of China has seen its wealth growing at an astounding pace. With a population of about 700,000, and more than 40 casinos spread over a territory of about 30 square kilometers, this narrow peninsula just south of Hong Kong became a money-making machine. That, at least, was until the machine started losing money rather than making it. When COVID struck, global traveling came to a halt and for a while Macau even slipped out of the 10 richest nations ranking. Today, Macau is slowly returning to business as usual. Still, its per capita purchasing power remains considerably lower than before the global health emergency, it was about $125,000 in 2019 and is down by more than $25,000 today. Number 4. Qatar. GDP, $235.5 billion. GDP PPP per capita, $114,210. Population, 2.93 million. Despite the recent recovery, oil prices have on average declined since the mid-2010s. In 2014, 
The per capita GDP of a Qatari citizen was over $143,222, one year later, it plunged significantly and remained below the $100,000 mark for the next five years. However, that figure has gradually grown, increasing by about $10,000 each year. Still, Qatar's oil, gas and petrochemical reserves are so large and its population so small, just 2.7 million, that this marvel of ultra-modern architecture, luxury shopping malls and fine cuisine has managed to stay atop the list of the world's richest nations for 20 years. No rich country, however, is without its problems. With only about 12% of the country's residents being Qatari nationals, the initial months of the pandemic saw COVID-19 spreading rapidly among low-income migrant workers living in crowded quarters, triggering one of the highest rates of positive cases in the region. Then, falling energy prices meant falling government and private sector revenues. An export-oriented economy, Qatar also suffered from the disruption in global trade caused by the war in Ukraine. Even so, the economy has proven to be sufficiently resilient. It is projected to grow by 2.1% in 2024 and by 3.7% next year. Number 3. Singapore. GDP, $497.35 billion. GDP PPP per capita, $133,108. Population, 5.45 million. The richest person living in Singapore is the founder of the medical equipment firm Mindray, Lee Zitting, whose net worth is estimated at $15.6 billion. Brothers and property developers Robert and Philip Ng are second, and Go Chang Liang of Wuthalam Holdings, which manufactures paints and coatings, comes in third. In fourth place with assets of about $9.6 billion, although for many years he occupied the top spot of the ranking, is Eduardo Saverin, the co-founder of Facebook, who in 2011 left the US with 53 million shares of the company and became a permanent resident of the island nation. Saverin did not choose it just for its urban attractions or natural gateways, Singapore is an affluent fiscal haven where capital gains and dividends are tax-free. But how did Singapore attract so many high-net-worth individuals? When the city-state became independent in 1965, one half of its population was illiterate. With virtually no natural resources, Singapore pulled itself up by its bootstraps through hard work and smart policy, becoming one of the most business-friendly places in the world. Today, Singapore is a thriving trade, manufacturing, and financial hub and 98% of the adult population is now literate. Unfortunately, that did not make it immune from the pandemic-driven global economic downturn. In 2020, the economy shrank by 3.9%, knocking the nation into recession for the first time in more than a decade. In 2021, Singapore's economy bounced back with an 8.8% growth, but then the slowdown in China, a top trading partner, derailed the recovery. China's economic problems hit Singapore's manufacturing sector, which makes up 21.6% of Singapore's total GDP, particularly hard. The economy expanded by just 1% in 2023, and is not projected to grow much further than 2% in 2024 and 2025. Number 2. Ireland. GDP, $589.57 billion. GDP PPP per capita, $137,638. Population, 5.03 million. A nation of just 5 million inhabitants, the Republic of Ireland was one of the hardest hit by the 2008 financial crisis. Following politically difficult reform measures like deep cuts to public sector wages and restructuring its banking industry, the island nation regained its fiscal health, boosted its employment rates and saw its per capita GDP grow exponentially. However, context is important. Ireland is one of the world's largest corporate tax havens, which benefits multinationals far more than it benefits the average Irish person. Halfway through the 2010s, many large US firms Apple, Google, Microsoft, Meta and Pfizer to name a few moved their fiscal residents to Ireland to benefit from its low corporate tax rate of 12.5%, one of the most attractive in the developed world. In 2022, these multinationals accounted for over 60% of the total value added to the Irish economy, according to figures from the Central Statistics Office. If Ireland were to adopt the minimum corporate tax rate of 15% proposed by the OECD and already implemented by many countries, it would lose its competitive advantage. Further, while Irish families are undoubtedly better off than they used to be, 
the national household per capita disposable income remains slightly lower than the overall EU average according to data from the OECD. With a considerable gap between the richest and poorest, the top 20% of the population earns almost five times as much as the bottom 20%, most Irish citizens would likely balk at the idea that they are not just rich but the richest in the world. Number 1. Luxembourg. GDP, $89.1 billion. GDP PPP per capita, $143,304. Population, 639,000. You can visit Luxembourg for its castles and beautiful countryside, its cultural festivals or gastronomic specialties. Or you could just set up an offshore account through one of its banks and never set foot in the country again. Doing so would be a pity, situated at the very heart of Europe, this nation of close to 650,000 has plenty to offer, both to tourists and citizens. Luxembourg uses a large share of its wealth to deliver better housing, healthcare and education to its people, who by far enjoy the highest standard of living in the Eurozone. While the global financial crisis and pressure from the EU and OECD to reduce banking secrecy may have had little impact on Luxembourg's economy, the coronavirus outbreak forced many businesses to close and cost workers their jobs. Yet, the country has weathered the pandemic better than most of its European neighbors, its economy rebounded from minus 0.9% growth in 2020 to over 7% growth in 2021. Unfortunately, due to high interest rates, the war in Ukraine, and a broader deterioration of the economic conditions in the Eurozone. That rebound did not last long, the economy grew by just 1.3% in 2022 and even contracted, by 0.4%, last year. Still, weak economic growth may not be worth complaining, Luxembourg topped the $100,000 mark in per capita GDP in 2014 and has never looked back ever since. So, which is your favorite countries among the top 10 most wealthy countries in the world? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 10 most wealthy countries in the world in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.